Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D Artcore tutorial and this time I was um, asked by uh, one of my subs to uh, create some uh, kind of growing animation um, well I don't really know how to uh, call this uh, kind of effect but uh, this is how I found it uh, much more easier to define uh, growing animation so this is basically what you're going to learn. Uh, well, just let me rewind this and play this. Okay. So see, this is basically it. Let me just run it once again. Okay. Uh, this is really what this is all about. Um, and let's start by creating a new scene and I will try to explain this uh, as much as I can okay and additional to this uh, tutorial I will also uh, add some more other uh, things I know that can be help you uh, if you want to create this such of things okay so the first thing is to create just simple uh, cube okay and we are starting by cube not because this is what you planning to do uh, just because it will be much more easier for me to explain um, so we have a cube in the scene and we have 24 frames by default so we want to expand it to somewhere about 200 okay that will be enough just type here 200 and rewind the scene okay now let's say we want this cube to appear uh, in some uh, I don't know like in frame 20 okay so the first thing is to uh, point to frame 20 by clicking here and then add a keyframe by pressing the S key okay the letter S so it will add here a red mark now I am in my native language so I need to change it to English okay and then I can use the S key to mark this okay so there is a red mark here which you can see it right now okay so that means that uh, in frame 20 this is where the cube will be okay and the main reason that I'm starting from frame 20 okay is because this is where I want the cube to be in frame 20 and then it will be easier for me to uh, uh, adjust or to define the path of this cube uh, from the from frame number one okay so I can switch to frame number one and then move this cube to somewhere else let's say for instance here and then add one more uh, key over here okay so frame number one the cube will be here and in frame number 20 the cube will be here so just let's play it just for okay example so this is the path this is how the cube goes and I want the cube to appear in uh, start appearing in frame uh, 10 so you will see the cube uh, approaching from this direction to this direction okay now um, for the first object it doesn't really uh, matter but for uh, later on object that we will add to this scene uh, it's much more important okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first uh, set another key to frame number one and I'm doing it by using the channel box here okay this icon here which says channel box slash layer editor and I want the cube to uh, uh, be uh, so <laughs> okay I want the cube to want that she won't be uh, the cube won't be um, visible okay so what I'm doing is I'm changing the visibility here okay the visibility visibility value to zero means off okay if I'm hitting enter after I uh, type in zero it will uh, turn to off okay so one and zero it's like on and off you can type on or off but it's easier to type one or zero okay uh, might consider them both uh, the same okay so after I type off in frame number one I can set another 
keyframe, okay? So I press S again, just to make sure that in frame number one, this is the position of the cube and also the, uh, the, visibil the visibility parameter is set to off, okay? Now, if I will change to frame number 10, the cube still will be uh, invisible, okay? And I want the cube to appear in, start appearing from frame number 10. So therefore, I will go over visibility while I'm selecting uh, first frame number 10, change the visibility to 1, which means on, okay? At uh, hit enter, so it will, like, you see, close this parameter, and then I can type S to set keyframe here. So, if I will rewind this, you will see that from now, from uh, frame number one, you can see the manipulator of the move uh, tool is appearing here, and it follows to frame number 10, and in number 10, the cube appears and continuing the same path okay and basically between frame number one and frame number ten the cube does uh, move uh, to this point okay even though you don't see it it's still there okay now uh, basically the best way to uh, to see this is like trying to uh, collide two different uh, objects um, using you know dynamics and dynamics and see this actually uh, in action but we are not going to uh, learn this um, this subject right now so just so you will know the cube does do this move from here over here even though you don't see it okay now in frame number 20 or 21 or 22 in some delay after, okay? I want uh, a polygon, to, uh, polygon uh, sphere to appear on top of this cube. So I'm placing the sphere over here and set a keyframe for it, okay? And then I'm moving the uh, keyframe to frame number 15, okay? And then I'm moving the sphere up above, and at the same time I'm uh, uh, turning the visibility to off, okay? And then I can set a keyframe for it, okay? But first make sure this is set to off and hit the enter, and then you can press S and set a key for it. Now in between uh, 50 to 20, I can add the where I want the uh, object to appear. If I want to see the a little bit move, okay, a little bit, a little bit movement here. So I'm just adding a keyframe to turn the visibility on one and set a keyframe. Okay, again, sorry, this is a little bit annoying, but one hit the enter and then you can set a key here. So what we have right now is simply as this. The cube appears and two seconds after it appears or a few seconds after it appears the sphere is coming into the scene and dropping on top of this cube. So this is basically it. Now we can add more objects and do much more interesting things of course, this is just uh, uh, you know simple example of how to do this uh, kind of method, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, growing animation. Which, um, by the way, um, the uh, you uh, usually see this kind of things, um, especially on Robotrix. Uh, transformers, you know, uh, in Israel we call it Robotrix, but um, in English it's the Transformers, the, those robots who are transforming the sha their shape from vehicles to robots, so this is uh, the basic of this uh, 
animation okay this is how uh, most uh, artists doing this animations kind of animations so here we have uh, another uh, thing and we can do whatever we want with this object and just to make it a little bit more interesting uh, we'll do some uh, manipulation to this and you know like uh, we can change the pivot for it over here and then tap F8 sorry change, changing the pivot and now let's say the sphere is appearing and touching the cube on frame number I'll tell you exactly when it's happening on frame number 22 so in frame number 25 I want this uh, object to appear okay and I want it to uh, be like so okay in frame 25 I want this object to be in this position so I set a keyframe for it and then I go to somewhere like sorry to frame number let's say 17 and no let's say 15 okay and I want this uh, object to be like uh, let's rotate it a bit I want it to be like so okay so I set a key for it but by the way I want to make it invisible so first also make sure the visibility is turned to off hit the enter and then set a keyframe here okay you always choose the keyframe before and then in frame number 18 I want this to be appear okay okay so I'm changing the visibility to 1 hit the enter and press S to set keyframe so now we will have something like that you see okay so this is pretty much it but um, not it's not just that you can do many other things with animation uh, and when I say that I mean like growing animation in uh, different ways you can uh, decide that after tw uh, frame number 25 where this object is uh, is here okay you can choose to uh, choose like frame number 35 right click on top of it choose those vertices and pull them over here okay so in frame 35 those will be here okay and we can set a key for it just by typing S okay and then what you will see is that first of all okay so in 35 it's here and let's say that in 25 it will be over here okay so you can also animate vertices at the same time okay and do some growing animation like this okay or um, for instance you can add uh, like a uh, different shader for it or like bleen for instance and you can go over the bleen material here and choose that the transparency for it okay by the way uh, as long as you change the value uh, like if I want the transparency to be at 100% uh, like right now okay so I'm setting a keyframe right now for the transparency now you can right click on the transparency right click on it and choose set key okay so now the key is set to uh, frame 35 but if I will uh, choose that in frame number 25 uh, no let's say 27 okay uh, the transparency will be uh, that way that it's invisible so you can set a key to it okay 
And then, let's see. Okay, so you see, this is how easy you do this. And that's pretty much it, I think. And there are plenty of stuff you can do with it and play with it and do whatever you feel like. And also, um, um, you can follow those uh, quick tutorial I made for uh, Lillian. She asked me how to do this kind of things. So you can use this also as for this uh, spiral, spiral uh, stirs I made and just do crazy other stuff uh, at the same time and with much more uh, options by changing any other uh, parameters of your objects or stuff like that. Okay, so that's it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, that it was quick and uh, it's answering a few of your questions that you probably had al uh, along the way. Um, from what I know, uh, many people start modeling 3D um, and one of the reasons for that is actually those transformers and this is one of the uh, effects that uh, most people stunned from, like how, how, do, how does those uh, visual effects uh, people do this kind of stuff. So um, for this tutorial it's probably just the basics of it, but it can give you a clue on how to create uh, unusual stuff like this. Okay. So, have a good day and see you soon with a new tutorial, tutorial and whenever I find something interesting to <coughs> create a tutorial for it. And <coughs> also at the same time, thank you for Lillian for asking me this question because uh, definitely it shows that uh, sometimes even though I don't have any other uh, subjects to talk about, uh, your questions can... Um, give me a reason to create a tutorial. So feel free to ask, que ask questions and or asking any tutorials um, which if I will find them um, you know uh, worth to create a tutorial for it uh, I will do. Okay so that's it. See you.